Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Hogwarts. The Dark Lord. No. Call me Satan. Chapter 21. Our respected great Lord Mephisto, have you been kicked out of the classroom by the professor? Penelo said with ridicule. In fact, when she saw Kyle at the sorting ceremony yesterday, Penelo was so excited that she didn't sleep much all night. Oh, it's you, Penelo. Should I call you senior now? Kyle also remembered this character from the original book. I don't want to remember. Penelo sent him a letter to Nocturne Alley every now and then. Arranging his messy collar, Kyle shook his head. Hey, Professor McGonagall is really too. I've said it all, I just want to relearn Transfiguration. In the end, she insisted that I don't need to take classes because of my Transfiguration level. Isn't it? Give me a gift directly. Hey, if you want to review it again, you won't let it go. I will complain to the school when I find a chance later. Seeing the way Kyle shook his head, Penelo couldn't help covering his mouth and chuckling. Senior Penelope, where are you going? Kyle and Penelope walked side by side in the corridor. This charms class, I came out to help Professor Flitwick get something. Penelope covered her mouth and chuckled. Professor Flitwick is the Dean of Ravenclaw. Loved by the eaglets. Your lesson is charms. Kyle's eyes lit up. This course is great. Curse. This is exactly what Kyle is good at. Do you mind if I go and listen? Yes, at the level of our famous and great master Mephisto, the fourth year spell course is definitely nothing to you. Penelo smiled. Professor Flitwick is great. His favorite is a little wizard with a thirst for knowledge, right? When he was young, he won the wizard fighting championship. Penelo began to introduce Professor Flitwick to Kyle. Fourth floor. Charms classroom. This lesson is given by Ravenclaw's eagle and Hufflepuff's badger. Professor Flitwick stepped on a tall stack of books. This is the only way to ensure that his head appears on the podium. Oh, Penelo, you're back. Who is this? Flitwick froze slightly when he saw Kyle. Professor, this is Kyle, he wants to sit in on your class. Penelo explained in a low voice. That's right, Professor, I still have a lot of shortcomings in spells. I think this, in Hogwarts, no, in the entire wizarding world, only you can help me make up for it. Kyle was very polite. Oh, Kyle. Flitwick recognized Kyle's identity. The famous one in Nocturne Alley. Hearing what Kyle said again, his favorability immediately exploded. Look, such a powerful person, to praise himself so much. I can't believe the rumors. Those dark wizards still say, inhuman, and, take pleasure in torturing people. What a good boy this is. Of course, my classroom welcomes all students with intellectual curiosity. It's just that you don't have to take the original course. Professor Flitwick asked. He didn't want to be unhappy with other professors because of this. Originally, this lesson was for transfiguration, but Professor McGonagall said that I don't need to take a first-year course at my level, so I was asked to come out and study on my own. Kyle didn't bat an eye when he answered. So that's how it is. Honestly, I think you should be assigned to Ravenclaw. Please take a seat wherever you want. Thank you professor. Kyle bowed slightly. Then she was dragged to the last row of the classroom by Penelope, and sat down on two tables and chairs next to each other. Okay, let's go to class. I'm repeating what I'm going to talk about in this lesson, the flying curse. The caster's mind must focus on clearly imagining the object and its location. Only in this way can the success of the flying curse be guaranteed. One thing to note is, in order to take care of Kyle, Professor Flitwick deliberately repeated the knowledge points that he had finished in the first half of the class. Okay, let's continue practicing now, if anyone can successfully summon an item in this lesson. I'll give him three points. After letting a group of young wizards continue to practice, Professor Flitwick came to Kyle from the podium and asked with concern. Well. Mr. Kyle, I suppose it's not too difficult for you. I actually knew this spell before, but my mastery is only so-so. But after listening to the professor's lecture, I feel that my level has improved a lot. Kyle flattered without any trace. Real. Flitwick's eyes lit up. There's no one who doesn't feel happy being flattered. Unless it's in the wrong place. Professor Flitwick suddenly became more enthusiastic. Then why not try? I think I can give you some advice after reading it. Okay, professor, let me think about what I can summon. Kyle thought for a moment. 
in my own capacity. Simple items, such as books, brooms and so on, will definitely not be able to bring out the style. Summon something powerful if you want to summon it. Yes, in Professor Flitwick's expectant gaze. One wave of Kyle's wand. The giant stone statue is flying. Hogwarts Castle is full of statues of all kinds. These are not only decorations, but also magic puppets that can be activated to protect the castle in times of crisis. Even at the gate of the school, there are two huge statues of knights about five meters high holding one-handed swords. Just today. Oh, look, what's that? On the second floor, in the history of magic classroom. The second year Hufflepuff Badger and Slytherin's Eaglet are in class. Cuthbert Bin's lectures are so sleepy that few people are paying attention. Even the eaglets with a strong thirst for knowledge are no exception. At this moment, a little badger who was sitting by the window let out an exclamation. All of a sudden attracted everyone's attention. That is. That looks like a stone statue at the gate of the school. Merlin, why did he fly? A huge stone statue flies across the sky. A moment later, the entire castle felt a violent tremor. Charms classroom. The little eagles and little badgers in the fourth grade looked overly frightened. Originally, I just thought that a first grade elementary school boy would come over to listen to the class. Result. Just smashed the classroom, can you believe it? This is too scary, right? The huge stone statue smashed through the wall and landed in the classroom. Biting cold wind blows in. It's like Professor Flitwick's mood at this time. Cool it down. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Ding. Fear detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. At this time, the jewel-like source of magic power on Kyle's forehead disappeared again. Well, this big move does consume a bit of mana. But this wave made another dozen treasure chests, not a loss. More importantly, the human design cannot be collapsed, and the force cannot be dropped. Professor, how about my flying charm? Can I add points? Kyle showed off to Professor Flitwick proudly. Look at the huge stone statue in front of you, look at Kyle. Professor Flitwick couldn't figure it out. How the hell did you turn a life spell, the flying curse, into a magic of mass destruction? Besides, where did you, a little wizard, get so much magic power? This is too outrageous, right? Generally speaking, the flying curse can also summon some simple things. Similar to books and food, they are not big in size. The bigger ones are just summoning a flying broomstick. But a giant stone statue like this weighs several tons. Ordinary ores definitely cannot be summoned by the flying curse. Professor Flitwick weighs his own level, and he should be able to do it too. But is this the brain hole of normal people? This moment. Professor Flitwick is blessed to the heart. Suddenly wondered why Kyle didn't go to transfiguration class but came to charms class. Very well, Mr. Kyle's flying curse is indeed beyond my expectation. Professor Flitwick waved his wand. However, I hope that Mr. Kyle will not appear in my class except for the necessary courses in the future. Boom. As soon as the voice fell, the classroom door of the charms class was tightly closed. Kyle, who had been under the levitation spell, also fell to the ground. Really are. Is it my fault for being too good? This is pure jealousy. You said, are they jealous of my appearance? Kyle looked at Moon Evie on his shoulder. Moon Evie doesn't have much energy during the day. Hearing this, he directly gave Kyle an expression of, you don't have a clue. Kyle. I just want to earn some emotional treasure chests, am I easy? The first class in the afternoon is potions. Kyle came to the classroom early. After two painful lessons in the morning, he learned from the pain. Potions class must never be kicked out of the classroom again. This lesson is still taught by Slytherin and Gryffindor together. In the corner of the classroom, Harry Potter and Ronald Weasley were whispering. Snape is the head of Slytherin house, and George told me he always favors his own house. Now we can see if it is true. I also heard that he would cut off the organs of some disobedient students and soak them in the classroom to warn others. Said, Ronald also looked around. In the corner of the classroom, there are quite a few large glass containers soaked with unknown flesh and blood tissue. 
Hey, Harry, what were you thinking? Ah, uh, no, just, forget it, it's nothing, what did you just say, Ronald? Harry Potter, who was in a daze, came back to his senses. Shake your head, everything about Hogwarts was magical to him. However, since I entered school, I have come into contact with so many people. The doubts in his heart have not diminished at all. That's why he became an orphan. Why do so many people know him? Well, I just said. Ronald was about to repeat what he had just said. The classroom door was suddenly opened. The old bat strode in with a gloomy face. Silence, put away your wands. Listen, you have come here to learn the exact science and exacting craft of potion making. Because there's no silly wand waving here. So many of you won't believe it's magic. I don't expect you to really appreciate the beauty of the slow simmering cauldron emitting white smoke and fragrance. You don't really understand the liquid that flows into people's veins, the magical power that makes people's hearts sway and their minds blurred. I can teach you how to raise your reputation, brew glory, and even prevent death. But there must be one thing, that is, you are not the kind of stupid fools I often meet. Snape came up with a series of opening remarks, which directly frightened the little wizards present like quails. He lowered his head and dared not speak. After speaking, Snape picked up the student roster in his hand. He pointed to Harry Potter's name. Oh, look. There is a famous big shot in your class. Potter, what do I get if I add daffodil root powder to a wormwood infusion? Ah, being called out suddenly, Harry looked dazed. I don't know, sir. Tisk tisk, it seems that sometimes fame doesn't mean everything. Then let's do it again. If I asked you to find me a piece of bazaar, where would you find it? I don't know, sir. I don't think you've read a single book before term started, have you, Potter? Snape was acting aggressive. There was a burst of laughter in the classroom. Especially the little snakes of Slytherin. They didn't have much affection for this savior. Harry, on the other hand, lowered his head. He felt like he was being targeted by Snape, etc. Being targeted. Harry suddenly thought of what Kyle had said earlier. Maybe when you come to Hogwarts and meet someone who values you very much, you will gradually know everything. By the way, is being targeted a kind of attention? Thinking of this, Harry suddenly raised his head. He actually felt a sense of concern in Snape's eyes. Is it possible? I really don't know how you can be so depraved at your age. So tell me, what's on your mind? Snape was about to move on to a third question. But seeing Harry Potter's distraught appearance. So I said a few more words. As always, there is concern implied in the poisonous tongue. Harry Potter keenly felt the concern inside and outside the words. Looking at the same black curly hair as her own. He couldn't help but speak out the thoughts that flashed through his mind. I've been confused for the past two days. Everyone seems to know me and they respect me, but it's because of my parents. But now I think I finally know. What do you know? I know your identity. My identity. Snape was a little confused. Did this brat take the wrong medicine today? Yes, dad, although I don't know why you didn't recognize me. Dot but I think. As soon as the voice fell, the entire potions classroom became quiet. All the little wizards opened their mouths wide in surprise. It was even better for Kyle not to be choked to death by his own saliva. There is no such passage in the original book. Where is this butterfly effect? Snape also had a blank face. It felt like my whole mind was being disrupted. Harry Potter called himself dad. Look into those green eyes. This feeling. How to say. Oops. What the hell is the sudden brightening of the mood? Ding. Happy emotion detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a diamond treasure chest. Enough, Potter, sit down. Maybe you should go to the school doctor's office to have a good look at your brain. Snape cut Harry off directly. He didn't ask any more questions, and walked directly to the front of the podium. The young wizards were asked to make only a simple, scabies potion. Snape sent materials to everyone. Kyle looked at the material in front of him. One of them is dried nettles. This is an ordinary plant, but after treatment, it is a good thing for making potions. Nettle extract has a sleeping or hypnotic effect. Under the impetus of, potion mastery, talent. In an instant, countless ideas, big and small, popped out of my mind. It's a pity that he doesn't have the raw materials to refine the potion now. 
Glancing at the old bat, it would cause chaos in the classroom due to Neville's wrong operation. Kyle sneaked into Snape's office next door. Several cabinets stocked with potion ingredients were found. Kyle's eyes lit up as soon as he opened it. Dragon horns, dragon blood, dragon claws, salamander blood, guardian tree branches. A large number of potion materials are priceless. Many things money can't buy. It is indeed the reserve of the potion master. Kyle didn't take too much, he just randomly picked a few that he could use. Then he looked contentedly at the three fresh meat left in the cabinet. Um, facts have proved that he is not a greedy little wizard. What? You say steal? How can you say stealing such things as refining potions? Back in the classroom, Kyle couldn't wait to focus on his busy work. The other side. Snape had Neville sent to the school infirmary, and after cleaning up the spilled potions in the classroom. Continue to start patrolling the classroom. Not stingy with his poisonous snakes along the way. Even in Slytherin, he had several little wizards mentioned by him. Finally, he came to Kyle. To be honest, for Kyle, Snape didn't like it at all, and even a little loathed it. Powerful talent, handsome face, and a bad name in Nocturne Alley. This directly reminded him of Voldemort who had killed his favorite woman. He didn't know what Dumbledore was thinking. Can this kind of little wizard with blood on his hands come to Hogwarts to study? With a cold face, when he came to Kyle's table, Snape froze. Glancing at the various potion raw materials on Kyle's table. He glanced at the conversations on the desks of other students next to him. Snape suddenly had a sense of foreboding. He is familiar with several potions among them. His face was gloomy, and he was about to speak. But he was attracted by Kyle's actions. There was no doubt that Kyle was concocting a potion. As a master of potions, Snape still had this vision. It's just that this kind of refining process has never been seen before, this is not a potion he knows. Wormwood infusion and daffodil petals, these are the things that can make people fall asleep. Hellebore, which is often used as a palliative in potions. Baishan has the function of healing trauma. Black root grass can effectively resist black magic damage. Peppermint, counteracts negative states. Kyle's refining technique was still very unfamiliar, but the whimsy in it caught even Snape, a potion master, in sight. Is this kid really only 11 years old? Snape looked shocked. By now he had forgotten what it was to hate and pursue the theft of potion ingredients. He was looking forward to the effect of the finished potion that Kyle would refine in a while. Gradually, the whole classroom became quiet. The other little wizards had either finished refining potions, or had simply given up. Everyone looked at Kyle and Snape curiously. Malfoy kept mumbling. He'd been elated when he'd slipped Snape into Kyle's presence earlier. Thought Snape was going to give Kyle a bad rap. Result. No, what's the situation if you don't say this sentence? Malfoy was disappointed. Also down is our primary school bully Hermione. She found herself previewing so much that she couldn't understand what Kyle was doing. About an hour later, the potion in the cauldron was finally refined, and Kyle turned off the flame. The boiling potion precipitated into a clear ruby-like potion. Just looking at this gives a warm feeling. I think this isn't something that's already on the market, it should be a brand new potion, right? Mr. Kyle, the deep voice of the old bat suddenly sounded. Professor. Kyle was taken aback, he was too fascinated when he was refining the potion just now. Why are you standing behind me? It's not important, can you tell me what this potion does? Of course, professor, it's all thanks to you. Kyle rolled his eyes. He emptied the old bat's potion storage cabinet, so he must give an explanation. To me. Yes, you told me in class that you will teach us how to stop death, which inspired me a lot. So I refined this potion. His role is to drink a bottle in advance when facing some possible danger. The medicinal power will be stored in the body, and the medicinal power will be triggered when you are injured, so as to heal the injury in time. Kyle started talking about how the potion worked. In fact, it was a big blood bottle that was very popular in online games for a while in the previous life. You don't need to manually click to use it, and it will automatically replenish blood when you are injured. Snape was taken aback when he heard that. On the surface, he was calm and expressionless, but his heart was directly numb. Prevent death. I'm just bragging, you made it happen. These potion ingredients of yours. 
Snape's face darkened as he remembered his original purpose. It doesn't matter, Professor, just look at what we have discovered. This is definitely one of the greatest inventions in the history of potions in this century. Kyle filled the cauldron with excitement and divided it into vials. According to my speculation, drinking one bottle can maintain the effect for at least a week. That is to say, within this week, as long as the medicine is not used up, as long as you are injured, he can heal your injury. This avoids many times when we are too late to take the potion, or the effect of the medicine is too slow. It will greatly increase the chances of wizard's survival. The most important thing is that with this idea, we can make potions with different effects. Of course, Professor, I also need to apologize to you. I had to go to your office just now to get some potion ingredients. Snape was immediately attracted by the effects of the medicine Kyle described. If so, this is definitely the greatest potion invention of this century. Not even one. He will have unlimited potential and completely change the existing potion system. The most important is, did Kyle say, we? I'm not helping you with anything, Mr. Kyle. Snape was as cocky as ever. No, you are wrong, I am the disciple of the greatest potions master of this century. It is because of your guidance that I can practice such a good potion. Kyle climbed up the pole without thinking. You must know that the class solidification in the magic world far exceeds that in previous lives. It's the same in all walks of life. The major pure blood families monopolize most of the resources in the British magic world. Including the Ministry of Magic. The employment prospects faced by wizards of mixed blood or even muggle origin after graduation are not too miserable. It is even more difficult to become a small employee of the Ministry of Magic. And even the Weasley family, known as, pure blood shame. No matter how hard the pure blood family suppressed it, it would leave Ronald's father with the post of chief of staff. Even Voldemort, who was born of mixed blood, put forward the slogan, pure blood is supreme, in order to win over those pure blood families. The same goes for all kinds of magic. Hogwarts students can only learn some daily magic in school, plus a, explosive weapon, and, armor protection, that's all. This is especially true when Kyle wanders around Nocturne Alley. It's hard for you to imagine how crazy those wild dark wizards desire for high-end black magic is. As for Kyle, what he lacks most at the moment is a door to open the upper echelons of the magic world. He has no shortage of money. But many resources cannot be bought with money. I'll take these potions back for special testing, and then, if it really has the effect you said, if the Merlin medal awarded to you by the Ministry of Magic is lower than the second level, I promise they will regret it. As for the matter of you stealing my potion ingredients, don't make an exception. Sure enough, when Snape heard this, put away five bottles of the eight bottles of potion on the table. No more, potion stolen, stuff. It's just some potion raw materials. The potion raw materials in his storage cabinet were worth at least 30,000 galleons. What was Kyle taking this for? That's it for this class, you go back and sort out your notes, each write a two-foot paper, and hand it to me next week. Back on the podium, the old bat was not even in the mood for class. After leaving a word, he left in a hurry. Hurrying back to the office next to the classroom, Snape eagerly picked up a bottle of potion. Going to test it out. I accidentally saw several open lockers. Empty. No, it's not accurate to say it's empty. At least there are still a few white fresh leaves that can be bought in a pile with one gin galleon. Snape remembered what Kyle said just now, and almost spit out a mouthful of old blood on the spot. A little bit. You called it a little bit. This little bit of yours is worth at least 30,000 galleons. The key is, Snape couldn't figure it out. Why do you want to say that this time is fine, and the next time is not an example? Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a diamond treasure chest. Hi. Kyle, wait for me. In the corridor outside the potions classroom. Kyle was about to report to Dumbledore when he was stopped by the little Lolita Hermione. Kyle, can we talk? Little Lolita had a complicated expression. Certainly. The two came to an empty corner. Tell me, what do you want to talk to me about? Kyle looked at the little girl in front of him. At this time, Hermione was not very good at dressing up, 
She was wearing a pair of glasses, but if you looked closely, you could still see that she was an out and out beauty. Ah, uh, I want to say. Why are you sorted into Slytherin? You don't look like. Hermione stammered, obviously not yet able to phrase her words well. But Kyle understood in seconds. Are you afraid that I will become a dark wizard in the future? No, I mean, Hermione, are all Slytherins bad? As far as I know, there have been more than a dozen potions masters and several ministers of magic in the history of Slytherin. There are countless middle and high level people in the ministry of magic. Really? Hermione was puzzled. It was different from what she had learned at Gryffindor House. Of course, if you have the opportunity to go to Nocturne Alley in the future, you may have heard of my name. Nemesis of the Dark Wizard, Kyle. Kyle didn't blink, and there was a smile on his lips, but his tone was serious. Speaking of my conscience, kind little wizards like me are rare now. Hearing this, Hermione's face turned red, Shua. Lowered his head. Kyle, that, can you touch your own? Huh. Oh, sorry, mistake. Okay, I have something to do later, if it's okay, I'll go first. Kyle waved his hand. He's going to report to Dumbledore in a while. Well, goodbye then. Hermione was still acting awkward. How can I touch my conscience and say? Touch someone else's awe. Hermione, why are you here? Kyle had just left, and Harry Potter and Ronald Weasley also passed by here. Oh, it's okay, I'm going back to the common room. Hermione said it in a natural way. Well, then we can go back together. No, Harry, I think you should go to the school infirmary first. I really don't understand why you suddenly feel that Snape is your father. Ronald on the side interjected. Oh, Ronald, you don't understand. Professor Snape seems to be targeting me, but he has to admit that he was the third one I came to Hogwarts to meet. Dot the second one. Harry originally wanted to say the third person who cared about him, but think about it. He didn't know if the second Kyle morning in the transfiguration room counted. Anyway, I can feel that he attaches great importance to me. Remember what Kyle said, I'm at Hogwarts. But he told you to go to the school infirmary. Ronald couldn't complain anymore. But you didn't notice that his tone was very harsh before, and he was not harsh when he spoke later. Hermione, what do you think? Huh, Hermione was out of her mind, preoccupied with Kyle, and was suddenly called by name. A casual perfunctory sentence. Perhaps you are right. There must be something that makes him not want to recognize me. I think it's the eyes. He always stares into my eyes today, probably because he doesn't like my eyes. Hermione, do you know of a way to change the color of my eyes? Harry turned to the schoolmaster Hermione for help. Well, I don't know too well. But maybe you should go to the library to find a way, there are a lot of books there. It makes sense. Principal room. Dumbledore, I have something to tell you. For the second time in one day, Snape stepped into the headmaster's office. Severus, you're here. Dumbledore caught up on his morning sleep. This will look good, of course, only looks. Because he just sent away Professor McGonagall and Professor Flitwick. My heart is in a mess. I thought Kyle was just playing a little trick like the twins. But, small. Facts have proved that the pattern of Lao Deng's head is still small. Compared with him, the twins are simply obedient children. It's the first day of school. The ceiling of the Transfiguration classroom is gone, and the walls of the Charms classroom are gone. Counting Snape, head of Slytherin. Three deans in Hogwarts have come to complain. Maybe we should think of a way, we can't let Kyle Kid go on like this. Dumbledore rubbed his brow in distress. Of course, this way of thinking. It's not about dismissal or punishment. Instead, figure out a better way to educate Kyle. By the way, he really didn't want to hear from Snape again. No, absolutely not, I absolutely do not agree to deal with Kyle. Immediately afterwards, Snape's words directly confused Dumbledore. Quote question mark question mark question mark question mark quote. No, did my old man hear wrong? He came over two days in a row and said that Kyle must be fired. The result is now. Severus, Minerva and Flitwick both came and sued me just now. Say it's the kid Kyle. Dumbledore, you said so. As teachers, we cannot simply define right and wrong for children. We should find a way to guide and educate. Snape interrupted before Dumbledore could finish speaking. Using what Dumbledore had said to him that morning. 
The old bat had already experimented with Kyle's potion. The effect is exactly as he said. After drinking it for a week, I obviously feel warmer in my body. Some more experiments were done. Skin wounds will be healed as soon as they appear, and some curses from black magic can also be effectively resisted. That's enough. The greatest significance of this, new life medicine, is to propose the concept of drinking medicine in advance to prevent danger. The specific functions and formulas can be gradually developed and adjusted in the future. Just relying on this potion invention, it would take a long time for Kyle to learn the basics of potion science. He will be called the master of potions. After all, the biggest difference between a potion master and an ordinary alchemist is not the method of refining medicine, but improvement and innovation, which requires his own famous work. Such a person, Snape couldn't bear to throw him out of Slytherin. Listen, Dumbledore, Kyle is a student of Slytherin. If you want to punish and deal with Kyle, you must agree with me, the Dean. You mean you're willing to take responsibility for Kyle? Dumbledore looked up. You can say that if you have to. The expression on Snape's face didn't change much. After all, I have been proud for more than 30 years. Okay, here's the bill from Minerva and Flitwick for repairing the Transfiguration and Charms classrooms. You know, our castle has magic, and it can't be repaired with a simple repair spell. I'm worrying about this kid Kyle not having parents. Severus, it's very kind of you to do this. Dumbledore quickly produced two bills. Fearing that Snape would repent, he stuffed it directly into Snape's hand. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Snape was completely dumbfounded. No. Not to mention that the potion worth at least 30,000 galleons that he had stored was stolen by that brat. Now you have to be responsible for wiping his ass. What is resentment? Dumbledore, I. Snape began to speak. He was interrupted by Dumbledore waving with a smile. It's hard to come up with a big complaint. Old Deng didn't want to give him a chance to repent, otherwise he would have to pay the money. Let's not talk about that for now, Severus, what is the purpose of you coming to see me? Oh, Snape took out three bottles of red potion with a deadpan expression. This is the new type of potion that Kyle refined in the potions class just now. The specific effect is. I think it's worth at least an order of Merlin, second class. Real. Dumbledore pushed his glasses. He once discovered, 12 uses of dragon's blood. He was good at alchemy, but he also had a deep knowledge of potions. He picked up a bottle of potion and opened it, smelled it first, and then drank it. Dumbledore closed his eyes and felt it. After releasing several detection magics in a row, he opened his eyes. His face was already full of surprises. Teaching an excellent student will undoubtedly bring glory to Hogwarts as a whole. This kid, I didn't expect him to have such a high talent in potions. Great, don't worry, Severus, leave the application for the Order of Merlin to me. Snape looked at Dumbledore with an excited face. Look at the two bills in hand again. The joy just now is gone. He couldn't figure it out. Why is it me who gets hurt every time? Well, I'll go first. Never mind. I don't want to, the more I think about it, the more tired I get. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Professor, may I come in? Not long after Snape left, the door to the headmaster's office was opened again. A small head poked out from the outside. It was Kyle. Certainly. Son, I've been waiting for you for a long time, and I can't wait to teach you lessons. Dumbledore was still affable. I knew the professor was a good person, so I brought you some candies and desserts. Kyle was carrying a tote bag. Put it on the table and open it. Inside are some Honey Duke's candy shop specials. Among them, the most cockroaches are piled up. See your favorite candy dessert. Dumbledore's smile grew even wider. Oh, a pile of cockroaches. And strange smelling beans. And the latter, just like our life, has countless flavors. Dumbledore picked up an odd flavored bean and popped it into his mouth. He wanted to take this opportunity to instill some truth in Kyle. As a result, the facial features suddenly became twitching in the next second. Oh, Merlin, it actually smells like shit. Today is really unlucky. But it doesn't matter, we can look forward to the next one. Just like life, you never know how sweet the next one will be. 
Swallowing the strange flavored beans, Dumbledore picked up another one on his own. Well, the taste of this one. Well, it looks like I'm unlucky today, it's snotty, a little salty, and sticky. Kyle was immediately shocked. If this weird flavored bean is life, well, it's shit and snot again. How did your old man have the courage to live to be more than a hundred years old? Oh, this one is much better. It tastes like strawberry and is very sweet. And I think it's just because of the bad mistakes of the first two times that the choice is extra sweet now, don't you? Boy. Of course, professor, I think what you said makes sense. But I have a question. Kyle stroked his chin. After all, my child, it is the bounden duty of every teacher in Hogwarts to explain students' doubts, even if I am the headmaster. Dumbledore felt that his performance just now was really wonderful. Use strange beans to describe life. This is much better than talking dryly. Perhaps some more educational methods like this can be used. My problem is, how did you know that the one just now smelled like dog shit? By the way, there's still the smell of snot. Dumbledore. No, my old man is racking his brains here to find ways to reason with you and educate people. As a result, you have grasped these two key points. Well, what was I going to say just now? Thinking is not coherent. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a golden treasure chest. Well, just kidding, professor, I don't think you will mind. Actually, I came here mainly to admit my mistake to you. The treasure chest has been obtained, and Kyle's expression is serious. I couldn't control my magic power in transfiguration and charms classes today. Some damage was done, so. Oh, it's okay. Dumbledore was relieved to hear that. He thought something big had happened again. Your headmaster, Snape, has come to see me, and he's paying for classroom repairs. It's just that the magic power is not well controlled, so I can't blame you. Really? So it has nothing to do with me? Of course, we can't punish students for such a trivial matter. Old Deng waved his hand with a smile on his face. Then I saw Kyle quickly put all the desserts on the table back into the handbag. Finally, he put his hand back into his messenger bag that had been cast with the untraceable stretching charm. Son, what are you? Oh, professor, it just occurred to me that eating too much sweets for the elderly is not good for the teeth, so let's go to class first. The next time I make a mistake, I'll bring it back for you. Kyle showed his white teeth. The smile froze on Dumbledore's face. No, is there such a gift? After finishing the work, take back the things you brought. And there is a next time. Ding. Depression detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a diamond treasure chest. Okay, today we'll talk about the Patronus charm. After a long time, Dumbledore breathed a sigh of relief. He felt that his blood pressure had soared just now, and he almost passed it directly. It's a very ancient spell that can ward off a lot of dark magic, including Dementors. His spell is invocation. Only a few wizards can summon a complete Patronus. But I think with your talent, it's not difficult. When using the Patronus charm, try to remember those moments that made you feel happy. Dot dot dot. Two hours later, Kyle left Dumbledore's office. Feeling exhausted. Old Dengtu give a lecture, it's good. The problem is that seven of the ten sentences must be about ideological education. Only three sentences are useful. There are too many adulterated private goods. If it weren't for the huge treasure chests he harvested, Kyle would have quit long ago. In fact, in the office, Dumbledore was no better than Kyle. Tired, tired, Dumbledore felt that he had been in these two hours of class. Compared with the battle with Grindelwald in the valley. Oh, the metaphor doesn't quite fit here. More tired than when he fought Voldemort. It's not like where did this brat come up with so many crooked truths. For example, I told him that young people should be full of vigor and work hard in the right direction. The little bear nodded, and said something with a deeply appreciative expression. Indeed, if you don't try hard once, you don't know how comfortable it is to give up. Tell him that Galen is not omnipotent, and many things cannot be bought. The bear raised his head and asked back, Professor, could it be because you don't have enough galleons? It's so reasonable. Take Voldemort as an example. 
if he had enough galleons in his hand back then. You can hire all kinds of wizards all over the world to fight in England. The Death Eaters were all drowned with their spittle. Reasonable Dumbledore didn't know how to refute it. Looking back now, it was a nightmarish two hours. Night. Castle Hall. The meals at Hogwarts are sumptuous. This can ensure that the little wizards can get enough nutrition after a hard day's study. On the long table in Slytherin, the atmosphere was still weird. All the little snakes were silent, and everyone left early after eating. Hey buddy, we heard that. It's amazing. While Kyle was enjoying the food, two people suddenly sat down beside him. Yellow Weibo, 90% of the similar appearance. It was the Weasley twin. On the first day of school, you blew up two classrooms in a row. I can assure you that all the students at Hogwarts are not as talented as you in mischief. I've heard, you've been ostracized in Slytherin, haven't you? Do you need our help? We can use the big dung eggs to make a concerted effort, just tonight. Oh, by the way, I forgot to introduce myself, my name is George. He's Flender. I, I am George, and you are Flender. Sorry, not tonight, I have something to attend to. To be honest, Kyle was a little moved to hear the twins' proposal. But how? I can't pass this test of my own conscience. As a kind little wizard, how could he attack his lovely classmates? Not only can't do it yourself. Kyle also decided to give the twins a hard time. My name is Kyle, and by the way, I have some ideas about the big shit. Kyle, tell me. George looked up. There is a feeling of encountering like-minded people. My heart is eager to try. But when it comes to pranks, he thinks he won't lose to anyone. We think the big dung egg is the best prank, cheap and destructive. Fred added. No, it's not enough, it's not close. Kyle shook his head. You're bound by the name Big Dung. Think about it, what if you add other things to it? Say, pepper, paprika. Or, strong laxatives. Or bolder, strong antidiarrheals. After the words were finished, the twins' expressions immediately became terrified. Are you a devil? Even strong laxatives. And strong antidiarrheals. Is this to suffocate people to death? Genius prank idea. The twins were instantly convinced. Correct me, I'm not calling this a prank. Kyle slowly inserted a piece of steak into his mouth. A mischievous act is a malicious act of pleasing oneself by injuring another. It's a violation of school rules. What I discussed with you just now is how to effectively defend against some dark wizards with malicious intentions when the little wizard's magic power is not enough. It's all about working hard for the future of the wizarding world. Perhaps the Ministry of Magic will award me an Order of Merlin after knowing about my research topic. Okay, I have something to do later, nice to meet you. See you tomorrow. If the new type of big dung egg is ready, remember to leave a copy for me. After speaking, Kyle left in a hurry after eating the last piece of steak. He still has work to do. Only the twins with glazed eyes remained. They feel that the whole person has been baptized. Is he really a first-year little wizard? After a long time, George still didn't come to his senses. Probably. But we are all playing a prank, why does his mouth always feel full of a sense of sacred mission? Maybe, he is not an ordinary little wizard. Two people can't figure it out. It was all a prank, why in Kyle's mouth it became working for the future of the wizarding world. Hey man, now is not the time to think about this, we need to hurry up and do what Kyle said. Yes, Flender. Dot dot dot. Night. Kyle left the castle alone. There are two Ibrahimovic squatting on the shoulders. It's the exact opposite of daytime. At this time, Sun Ibrahimovic was drowsy, but Moon Ibrahimovic was extremely energetic. Okay, I know you're hungry, and I'll bring you something to eat soon. A yo-yo-like creature dangled from Kyle's wrist. Brilliantly colored and full of thorns. Winged demon. Also known as the curled winged bat. It is rated as a 5x level magical creature by the Ministry of Magic. The creature looks like a bat, colorful and covered in spines. When flying without using its wings, a crooked devil huddles inside a spiny egg sac. Kyle's, fantastic animal affinity, talent was acquired very early. This talent can make most magical animals have a natural affection for him. I have also collected many pet companions over the years. It can be said that the title of, Blood Demon, must be at least one-third of the credit for those partners. 
It's a pity that because I came here to go to school, I could only bring a relatively small one with me. But the speed of collecting treasure chests in Hogwarts far exceeded Kyle's expectations. I believe it will soon be obtained or grown enough to make a huge suitcase like Newt. With the winged demon, he hunted a few wild beasts to barely fill his stomach. Kyle had only begun the real purpose of this trip. His, heart of black magic, talent was acquired not long ago. It can effectively increase all kinds of black magic. But Kyle wasn't used to this level of growth. Magic does not mean that the more powerful the better. What's more important is the ability to control the spell. It takes practice. In terms of improving his own strength, Kyle has never slack off. Who would have thought that he had just found a slightly wider open space, when a sound of horseshoes sounded, and Kyle was stopped. Little pony, stop your steps and go back to the castle, the forbidden forest is filled with blood tonight. Stay here and you will be in danger. No, it is not appropriate to say that it is a human being. The lower body is a horse, and the upper body is a human. It is the centaur family in the forbidden forest. Mr. Horseman, may I know what happened? Upon hearing that there was danger, Kyle suddenly became interested. Isn't this just a good way to train your own spells? This. Just as the centaur in front of him was hesitating, another centaur with a bow and arrow came running over. Firenze, what are you dawdling about? The dozen or so warriors of the tribe have assembled, and Elena is still waiting for us to rescue him. Ronan, I met a human pony who sneaked into the forbidden forest. You know, I'm looking up from the sky, we're going to get help, maybe this is. Human, what are you kidding? Ronan the centaur subconsciously frowned. The centaurs are very repulsive to humans. They do not recognize their identity as a sub-race. In the whole of Hogwarts, only Hagrid and Dumbledore got their approval. Just turned to look at Kyle. Ronan couldn't help feeling a cordial feeling in his heart, and even his tone became kind. Listen, kid, it's dangerous here, go back quickly. Sir, can you tell me what happened? Maybe I can help. I brought two very powerful partners, and the winged demon. In order to prove his own strength. Kyle revealed the winged demon in his hand. This is a 5x level magical animal recognized by the Ministry of Magic. Even in the Forbidden Forest, it is a creature at the top of the food chain. Well, the daughter of our tribal chief was captured by the Acromantula. We organized warriors to sneak into the spider's lair to save her. After discussing with Firenze, Ronan still told Kyle what happened. Live. Rescue. Kyle's eyes lit up. You may not believe it, but what I'm best at is lurking. Please let me join you. Joke. A pint of Acromantula's venom is worth a hundred galleons. Who is not interested in money? A. Eh? Ronan hesitated. Just then Firenze spoke. Ronan, I think we should follow the instructions of fate. The astrology tells me that we will get help tonight. Okay, I can take you with me, but you need to promise me that you must follow us. If the situation is not right, you have to escape as soon as possible, regardless of our life or death. I see, sir. Kyle nodded obediently, he was nothing more than an acromantula, a walking gin gallon. Okay, ride on me. The two centaurs led Kyle to join their companions first. These are the best hunters in the centaur tribe. After a brief exchange, Ronan was responsible for driving Kyle, and the others surrounded Kyle and Ronan. To be ridden by a human is a disgrace to a centaur. Just thanks to Kyle's fantastic animal affinity, talent. No one thought there was anything wrong. The crowd crossed a dense forest, walked for more than half an hour, and finally came to the territory of the Acromantula. A large number of spider webs have begun to appear in the woods. Fist-sized spiders crawled past from time to time. Okay, we are here, from now on, we need to be extra cautious. Ronan put Kyle down. Try to find a way to rescue Elena without disturbing the acromant spider. Let me do it, I actually know lurking best. Seeing this, Kyle quickly took out his wand and took a step forward. Is there any magic? Firenze asked curiously. The centaurs also have their own mysterious powers. It's just some divination and the like. Doesn't do much for combat. This also makes them always at a disadvantage in the friction with the giant eight-eyed spider. Of course. Kyle grinned. His expression was slightly serious. Above the forehead, sky-blue vertical pupils appeared. As bright as a sapphire. Fierce flames. Fierce flames. Fierce flames. 
three fierce fire curses in a row, jet black flames flying all over the sky. This so called flame from hell has a temperature far exceeding that of ordinary flames. In addition, it is autumn at this time, the weather is dry, and the trees are at their most oily. Spider webs are flammable. Before the horsemen came back to their senses, the fire had already spread. Kyle's fire fire curse was not as good as the three unforgivable curses. But there are also seven levels. With a wave of the wand, the violent flames were immediately divided into two sides, leaving an open space in the middle. Let's go save people, gentlemen of the centaur. Firenze couldn't help swallowing. Kyle, is this what you mean by lurking? Of course, false lurking, carefully avoiding the enemy, for fear of being discovered. Real lurking, go straight in and kill all witnesses. Kyle looked up. Horse man, this makes so much sense. Wrong. Makes sense what a ghost. Is this really the level a little wizard should have? Seeing the blazing fire in front of them, the horsemen were all numb from the shock. Ding. Shock detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a silver treasure chest. Ding. Shock detected. Ding. The treasure chest is being extracted for the host. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a bronze treasure chest. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.